Hi guys! So let me help you understand further on how to watch the readings. So remember, this is going to be based on Vedic sidereal astrology, not Western. So if you're watching this from your sun sign, then the resonance of the energy will be happening on a soul level. Now, if you are watching this from your ascendant, then from ascendant, it's happening towards the physical manifestation of the reading. And then, if you are watching this on your moon sign, then this is going to be resonating from your feelings, your mind, and your thoughts. Now, for the people who are looking for that masculine energy, then you would have to look for Jupiter in your chart so that you will know how the energy works. And then, if for the people who are attracted to the feminine energy, then you would have to look for Venus. Now, do remember that Venus also rules the energy of the relationship, so that would be also helpful for you. Now that you guys are all set, thank you very much, and let's begin with your reading. Hi, Aries. Welcome to my channel. We're doing a reading. Let's do your coffee read first. Mm. What's going on? Mm, I was picking up. If you know your D9 Navamsha chart, always watch that. Okay, that's the marriage chart. It might resonate. Ascendant and Venus. Watch it from that perspective, I always say. Just in case you know. If you don't know. Um, what I was picking up, you know, from the Aries is like the song, The Heat Is On. Get on your feet, right? Um, if you're not familiar with the song. So, The Heat Is On. Get on your feet. So, I'm not sure if you're taking things laid back. But I'm pretty sure Mars, and I forgot what is Mars doing right now. Mars and Sun, is I feel like I, they're going to go close together um, in, ca in Cancer. So you might have this burning passion of love, because fourth house is love, and that's your fourth house, to, like, you want to take charge. You, you, like, you know, it's like, you're bold enough, you can do it, but I'm not sure what is... Um, stopping you what's holding you back okay i'm not sure why okay again this applies vice versa if you're a bro watching me then that's you or the cross watcher okay so what is holding you back that's basically what's my question is like in this romantic connection that you have then oh wow well i guess nothing's gonna hold you back now Got a death card, or it can be a Scorpio who's holding you back. But eighth house energy here, when you transform, nobody recognizes you. Okay. Anybody who goes to the death house is a to this is you know rising from the ashes, the phoenix, right? There's only two um, zodiac that is ruled by Mars, which is Aries and Scorpio. Um, Aries is you know the start of the zodiac, and technically. Um, Pisces is the end, but look at it in the perspective of a Scorpio where things end at Scorpio because um, anybody who goes through it afterwards, you've dated a Scorpio. Mm -hmm. You ain't no the same person anymore. You change. Okay. So it could be, you know, the thing that's holding you back is a little bit of those things that you cannot let go. You don't hold on to things. Not at all. I don't think so. But it can be, you know, it's like there's still a little bit of, you know, purging that you're doing, you know, things that you need to really, it's like, I will buy the torch, Sal, tell me, is it in Amazon Prime? Because I will torch this place down and I will bring down the house, basically if it's a song, burning down the house, just so that I can have a new beginning in life or a new beginning with this person. But it's, I feel like it's coming. It's inevitable. You know, there's only two things that is uh, certain. It's the beginning and the end. Everything in between, it's uncertain. Regardless of what we predict and what we see as far as like in between, you know, it's just like what we are sure of is like when someone, so when something begins, something will end. That's it. Mm -hmm. And here it's showing that there is an end to what you have been going through, which is good can be closure, 
can be a path where, you know, it says like not everybody will take. You're going to be more dangerous, you know. That's death card right there because as a new being, uh, you know, as a new energy, you feel more alive. Yes. Three of Wands. Okay. Your expectation is crazy with this new life that you're having. Having a Three of Wands is you're waiting for a Sun card, long distance relationship. They're far from you. It's a Scorpio. You're waiting for them. Is this person ever going to show up in my doorstep? Because I already put Three of Wands here. Okay? Is this person ever going to change? Because the Death card is the first and it's the strongest. Is this person really going through something? Because they haven't been talking to me. Because death card is like when someone's going through it, they're not going to be in a hermit mode. It's going to show evidently in their vibration or frequency that something is up, something is shifting, something is changing. Okay? And as a three of wands, yes, they're changing or you're changing. But this is for the good. Because remember, the three of wands expectation is to go to the four of wands. So something positive on its way. Yes. Now, this positive change, you being optimistic about it, can be relocating, can be, you know, it's like from one country to the other, from, you know, from one house, you move to, you know, it's like a different uh, zip code so that you can have this new life that you want to. Knight of Cups, definitely dealing with a water sign here, or you have a water in your chart. I feel like it was more of like the person missed the mark, okay? Three of Wands is like you were waiting for this person to hit you in the face with love. You get hit with a, with their charming side. You know, it's like expectation was relationship commitment. They gave you the, what? 20% lower when you were, what you were trying, what you were really hoping for. Okay. So wasn't able to deliver. So if it's a Google review, Yelp review, instead of getting a five-star review, they only get a 3.5. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So someone missed the mark. They did, they tried, but they missed it. They go. They went through some changes, they missed it. Yeah. Okay, we'll deal with this, right? Let's deal with this. This person who missed the mark, okay, um, felt rejected, okay? You have rejected, you may have rejected this person. You said, no, this is not what I was waiting for. This is not what I am about, okay? So they could have done this to you where they were being stubborn as you offered your cup towards them and you were very positive. It's like, yeah, this person is going to accept my, my, you know, this thing that I'm offering, this cup of love, okay? But they're being, um, how to say it? They're stuck in their ways where it's not for you to fix. Okay. That's clear. Whatever people need some fixing, you know, let it, let the universe fix them because if you would have to play um how to say this uh doctor with this person the healer okay you might you might just get burned down and that's how you felt the death card burned down yeah to the like a toast like a crisp yeah okay and that's where you're finding it i was like well i guess this is the end this is the uh, this is the part where it's over i tried okay or they have tried also if you're a cross watcher but if they're going to be a stuffed up, you know, piece of A, then it's not going to move forward. Someone here is resisting something that could have been good, has a bright future. Okay. <laughs> Two of Wands, because they're always backing down from a Three of Wands, or you have done this, Two of Wands. But I feel here they miss the mark because, again, you know, like you put someone in a pedestal or they put you in a pedestal, at or, or, um, where they are, they were halfway there, okay? But someone could have been very, very driven, let's go, let's do this, okay? And then they don't like to be pushed around, hence they, get, they back down, okay? This is now a person who basically says, you don't tell me what to do, okay? You don't tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. For you, I feel like you were not even, there was, there's no controlling energy here. You were trying to extend yourself. They took it as something different. Yeah? So now it leaves both of you wondering, okay, then is this a no-go? Is this a go? 
Are we are we just going through a cycle in the relationship? Is this a phase that we're going through? Four of Pentacles. Damn! Ugh. Like, totally, like, this person is so stubborn, huh? Totally on recluse. This can be you. Not budging. Not budging at all. Okay? No matter what the Knight of Cups does, you know, this energy with the Four of Pentacles, it's just... Like, it's impossible. Like, you're talking about, you know, it's like, what is it? The Berlin Wall has already fallen, you know? Well, Great Wall of China will not fall, so that's how this, you know, this person is. It's just like, they really are in their dividing mode. No, 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 no. Mm. This is what the energy is. And as this person keeps refusing, things become on delay. Won't budge. Won't budge at all. They're going through a stage where it's like, let me think about it. I need to think. It's not even about asking for a space. I need to think. I'm trying to think. Okay. And this is how this person's energy is to you right now. They're thinking. Okay. So I'm going to continue this reading, Aries. Link down there in the description box for the extended. I will see you guys on the other side. And let's see what this person is really thinking. If it's a no-go, a go, or you gotta go. Okay, bye guys. Death card with the confusion card, the seven of cups, not knowing. Okay, they'll come out of it. This, because you were in the settling down, they were in the... Because knight of cups likes attention. Ever progress because as far as the slow knight is here, let's see how it's going to go, how it's going to proceed. 